Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this bridge using simple materials. The bridge that I built is located in a different part of the layout. I decided to build this bridge as a change of pace from the buildings that I've been making. A bridge is simpler. There's no windows, no doors, not a lot of you know, precise measurements that you have to do. It's quick. You could build this uh, bridge in two or three days. I started the project by selecting the side and using foam core to mock up the basic shape of the bridge. I then cut some blue foam into the shape of little bricks using my Proxon foam cutter and textured them using my stone technique that I've shown you in various uh, videos. And here I am using hot glue to l start gluing the little stones in onto the mock-up. The next step was making cobblestones. I made smaller stones, textured them like always using my uh, regular real stones to texture them. And here I'm using wood glue to attach them to the bridge mock-up. It might look tedious putting in these stones, but when you put on music and you got uh, your favorite beverage next to you, it can, be, it can become a very relaxing evening project. Little by little, as the stones go down, you can start seeing a lot of progress and it's very satisfying. Admittedly, the design of this bridge is a pure fantasy that came from my mind, but I did use the internet to get a lot of reference photos. Here I'm using a rolled up aluminum foil to provide texturing to the top of the bridge. And now for the moment of truth, painting. I used a Tuscan yellow to paint all of those blue bricks, varying the shades of the color and also uh, adding a little um, black to uh, give it an aged look. Painting is an art and I used a lot of reference photos from the internet to try to match those old European uh, stone bridges as best I could. It was relaxing at some times. It was a little nerve wracking thinking that I was ruining it. But in the end, I was satisfied with the look. Now to simulate the mortar. Here I use colored grout mixed with water and began to spread it over the bricks that I already just painted and uh, try to smooth it over all of the bricks and eventually wiping it with a cloth. So I used the end of a brush to bring, push in the mortar lines to make the mortar look a little bit more aged. Just as the, the grout was starting to dry, I used the end of a small screwdriver to uh, dig in a little bit the mortar lines to, to show that the mortar is starting to wear out. It's a good idea to use a paper cloth to uh, wipe off the dust and the loose uh, grout so it doesn't stick to your model. I 3D printed some uh, grates for the bridge and painted them a rusty brown and glued them into uh, holes that I already had made in the bridge. Next, I got a new shipment of weeds from Diorama Precipe, which is um, located in Italy. Their products are super detailed and excellent quality. Uh, this were perfect for the weeds that I wanted to show that were growing from the grates area because that's where uh, rain runoff uh, will come down and dirt accumulates. So it's logical that weeds would grow there. So here I am uh, cutting off little bits of this uh, excellent product from Diorama Precipe and gluing them in place. I like adding weeds to my models because it hides mistakes, but it also adds a level of realism that even non-model railroaders will know and appreciate. After adding the weeds, I glued the bridge to the layout, and I thought it re looked really good so far, except there was gaps where it met the scenery. So I mixed up some Durham's water putty and used it to fill the gaps all around the, the bridge. This is an area that eventually I will fully plan out, but for the time being, 
Uh, I wanted just to cover the gaps and paint it so it looks presentable. Well, that's it, folks. The bridge is done. I will leave you with a little video showing uh, a walkthrough of the bridge. Thank you for visiting the little fishing village of Amalfitan. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Until next time, arrivederci.